Thank you, Rodolfo, for your idea. Here I have all my knives that I typically throw. I do have other knives, um, but I don't typically throw them. These are ones where I'll throw them on occasion. And uh, I thought I'd show the audience um, how I hold them, how I throw them, what I like about them, what I maybe wouldn't prefer about them. Um, there are some throwers here that just naturally don't work for my style. I have a very unique style. Um, and the, because of the way I hold the knife, some items don't feel right when I throw them and I, I struggle with it. But I'd like to show you the different styles of throwers I have. First, I'd like to start off with these here. They're probably the knives that most people are familiar with uh, with my videos because it starts with the Nomad. Here you have the Nomad 1 and this is the Nomad 2. Bear with me, sorry. So my teacher Stanislav Apolinov, who um, created the uh, IVA throwing technique, Impulse Wave Apolinov throwing technique, uh, he also designed this, this knife. It's called the Kochevnik or the Nomad. Um, There's a lot of trouble with the tip. It was a very aggressive tip. So they redesigned it into the Nomad 2. You can see I've broken all my tips. But uh, the Nomad 2 has a different design tip. It also has a texture. There's a texture to it. I don't know. I, I, I think you'd call that a mill scale finish. People maybe in the comments can correct me if I'm, if I'm off on that. Um, but the Nomad and the Nomad 2. Of course, I hold the Nomad like this. People will have, will have seen that. Right, and uh, it's specifically no spin with me. I don't have it deep in the palm. I started learning like that with it deep in the palm, but it limited my rotation to the wrist because this was locked. When I started moving it up, I, I got a little bit more, more flex in the finger. So I hold it quite, quite out further. The Nomad, my favorite knife. For competition, I, I would I would use this even with the aggressive tip. This is this is the best knife uh, for me. Um, it's also not flat on the bottom. You can see that there's a profile. It's it's angled, right? Like you can barely notice it, but. It, 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 it angles from this point. The handle is straight, but then the blade angles up just ever so slightly. Very nice knife. It feels, for my style, feels very, very, very comfortable. Nomad 2, same thing, right? Feels, it feels better with this mill scale finish. In my, in my ideal world, I would have the Nomad 1 design with the tip aggressive, break it or not. I'd buy 20 of them, and if I break it, I break it. With this finish, that would be my dream knife. The Nomad 1 in this finish. Similar to the Nomad 2, I mentioned that the Nomad 2 uh, tip was designed differently. The IVA knife is, for all intents and purposes, it's the same as the Nomad 2, but it has milling. Milling on the profile to facilitate with this grip. See my middle finger there? And my thumb, how it fits, fits in this groove? And it, it is nice too. 
I do like the feel of it playing around with this one. Here I have it in two different thicknesses. Have it in an eight millimeter and a nine millimeter. Nine millimeter, you can see they're 317 grams. I think it's usually about 300 grams. And the lighter one I have, I think it's about 270 grams. This one hits with a pretty good thunk. Again, I'm throwing the IVA knives like, like my style typically is, right? So these are the IVA knives. I started with the sturgeon, Kisler Ossieter, the sturgeon. Kind of a difficult knife to, to, get, to get used to. I used to like to throw it a half spin, military half spin when I started. I couldn't throw it very much. It's a nice little knife. I, I don't throw it very much anymore. But if I did, I would throw it like this. This one's a unique one too. I, I really like it. It's by Zachary Robele. Hope I pronounced that right. Um, I like it for no spin. Nice and flat there. This knife is called the Heron, by the way. Nice and flat here. I don't like to throw this part no spin because it has a bump there for me, but I like this. It feels good, no spin. But he also designed it so you flip it around and it has a trigger point on the half spin. And this end comes around nicely for, for my half spin. So it has some nice, nice feel to it that I like. Made out of cardox. Nice little one that I like to throw occasionally. These two here are, are my friend, gifts from my friend, uh, Michael Fleming. Letter opener, <laughs> quite deadly actually. It's, it's so light and easy to wield. Then there's this ballistic pen or ballistic spike as uh, likes to call it. This thing is just deadly, man. It's so savage. This ballistic pen, I mean, I stuck a quarter inch wrench with this from three meters. So pretty accurate with it. And it's just deadly. Deep penetration, hard penetrating thunks. Hard penetrating thunks goes deep. This thing is is quite quite accurate actually because it's so easy to, to wield. You just use your fingers and just flick it. This here is a Josh Shugart knife that uh, I got from another thrower. Um, nice and heavy. Uh, different balance than what I'm used to in my hand, but also a nice knife. I like having a, a knife from Josh. Um, shoe guard knife unfortunately some of my knives are rusted from the tournament uh, it was a little bit damp at the tournament that was in my uh, tool kit here I have some knives from uh, boshrinken.com and delta2alpha.com here's a couple I like to I, I don't like to call them blanks but they're they're things that I can play with and, and perhaps file to my liking. Just a couple items I haven't got around to throwing too much yet. This is the Grand Vizier. This is about 330 grams, very long. I forget how long it is, but it's, it's quite long. Again, I throw it like this. I, I typically turn the, turn the tip over. My friend Ned Pavlitov, he likes to use the trigger on the half spin. This this really is deadly any way you use it. You just have to figure out the distance uh, that it works best for you. But solid, solid knife. I don't think I'll break this one. Brick breaker. This was my go-to knife for a long time to stick the bully ring. Also a nice knife. I here have the smooth prototype, but if you get a brick breaker now, it, it has the, I've broken the point too, but you have the, the good point, aggressive point, and you have the mill scale finish that the Grand Vizier has here. I just, again, this is a smooth prototype, but it has thrown really well for me. 
I even got my first five meter ring catch with the bully ring catches uh, with this one. Um, works really nice for me. I like to turn the point over for my no spin. I haven't used a lot half spin, but I imagine it's just you finding the distance. It hits heavy, so I imagine the half spin is just as wicked. Last one from BoShuriken.com is the, what's this one called? It's a cousin of the Fat Boy Slim. So this isn't the Fat Boy Slim. My understanding of the Fat Boy Slim is, is it's 10, 10 millimeters wide, a full centimeter. I think this is eight. Um, I'm missing something here for my grip, which makes it a little bit uncomfortable for the feel. Um, but when I turn around, this bulb on the end, man, it, it comes around pretty nice on the half spin. So I, I screw around with this one a lot on the half spin. It has a nice acid wash finish that I haven't worn off yet. Nice smooth top. It's pretty cool. My buddy Bjorn, uh, in, uh, in hot and uh, Belgium likes his fat boy slim. Here I have two versions of the Avro. You can see they're just thinner. If you're starting off, this, this is a really nice knife, very affordable. This is from Delta to alpha.com. Um, I like it for half spin. It's very nice for half spin, but it also works well for no spin. This was my starting knife, basically. I had a similar uh, model to this from um, the maker of these knives, these uh, stainless knives, Kisler. They made a knife called the Leader, or they make a knife called the Leader. I broke that one in half, uh, but it was my only knife for months and months and months. And this is the closest thing to it. Uh, it has a few different features. This one's really heavy because, of course, it's thicker and longer, but... The Avro, it's a very nice knife for half spin or no spin. And I really think it's one of the best beginner knives out there. And very affordable too. Nice. Um, I mentioned IVA knives. Uh, you can get the IVA knives on Delta2Alpha.com. But Scamp knives too. I really, I started off with this one. I didn't get it from Delta2Alpha.com. I got it directly from uh, Mikhail Belyaev. Hope again I pronounce the names properly. Um, this one has been very nice for me, half spin. I, I had a little bit of difficulty, again, with my grip for the no spin. I, it's fine. But in the start, at the beginning, I, I struggled with this. And also because of this, I, I felt it tough. But then I adapted. If you ask me though, my favorite is the half spin for this because I do like the grooves as it pulls out of my hand. I like these grooves. And I also like how much there is to grab there. I almost don't even need my index on it. My index just puts it over the top. But the amount that I can grab there and, and control even without my index is just phenomenal. Very nice knife. And I do... While I, I'm not a big fan, I'd rather have this straight so my finger, when I'm pointing no, no spin, goes straight. I don't like it off. It, 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 it requires an adjustment, right? But having said that, when I flip it around, somehow or another, I like, I like it that it's here. I like that that rests in there like this. It just it feels perfect for half spin. Like I got such great control with this knife. Also, Delta2Alpha.com carries the Spetz 2 Brute, or Spetz 5 Brute, my apologies, Spetz 5 Brute. Very nice for no spin. I, I, I like how, how that's straighter. It's very, very similar and akin to this knife, the Scamp 2. You can see their similarities. I like the little bit of weight out here on the, on the tip. Nice, nice, aggressive uh, penetration, despite not having a sharp point. It's not very sharp. Same thing with the scamp knife. You don't, they're of the mindset you don't need a sharp point. But the penetration's unreal. Also, again, for the same reasons as the scamp too, with that notch and with the amount of control here, 
The half spin is just phenomenal. Really like the half spin. And quite honestly, a very nice feeling knife. Just the metal's very nice. I, I really like this one. Spets 5 Brute. In case I, I didn't say that right. Also on the IVA website is the trenching tool. I really like this thing. I cut a can in half. I tossed a can. You'll have to look for it online. But I tossed a can, tried to pin it, it cut, it cut the can right in half. Well, I mean, I was trying to pin it, but I, I was I was intending, I thought it could cut a can in half. That was the goal. And yeah, it just sliced a can in half. Just a wicked, wicked tool. This one's made out of titanium. I spent a little extra money for the titanium. Pretty incredible. Quite handy at the campsite too. I've got a nest wing axe. Not the best for throwing axe, but I did I did used to train for extra weight, my IBA technique, so that when I come back to a knife, it just feels so light. So I used to play with this, but uh, I've ordered some uh, hawks, uh, Norse hawks from uh, Joe Dara. Can't wait to get those. Uh, I did actually very good. I don't, I didn't do very well in the tournament and other things, but one of the highlights was my tomahawks. Um, for a guy who's never thrown a tomahawk before, I got 77 out of 100. So 77% for the first time picking up a tomahawk. That's, I'll take it. Uh, but it, I like it now. Uh, for rotation, I'm not a big rotation guy yet. I'm, I'm working on it. Um, but I've got the Boker Magnum, Bailey Zeal. Is that right? Bailey Zeal, Boker Magnum. Nice set. Um, I can throw this half spin, full rotation, and no spin. Uh, I just remembered, I forgot, when I was talking about um, the scamped knives and, and the feel, I also forgot about Bosherikens.com, the Suzuki Sensei knife. And I think they've, uh, they've beefed this up a little bit, made it longer, and a little bit more deadly, if I might say. But another thing I like about this one is the feel in your hand, right? You, you got a good pinch for the half spin. I don't really like the way that it's so slim for the no spin, but I do know other throwers that, that, that appreciate this profile for a no spin knife. So for me, no, but half spin, take it every day of the week. It, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. Also available on Delta2Alpha.com. So we're getting to now gifts from the tournament this one i i picked up off the awards table i believe it was for um <laughs> my pathetic uh, overall score but nevertheless i got this rotational knife um it's called the big mac by paul macaron very nice uh, engraved with broken broken feather palooza 2020 22. I kind of beat it up because I don't know how to throw and quite honestly, I feel I disrespected this knife throwing it no spin. And, but uh, I'm working on my etiquette. This was gifted to me. I hope I get this right. This is the Helios. I believe this is the Helios. A little bit long for me, but I really like the, the design and the profile. It really works for me, the way the feeling is here in my hand, and I have a straight line. I really like the point. It's a little bit long. As you can appreciate, um, if you think about it with my style, something shorter comes over quicker, like the tip of a whip. So for me, if, if my index finger is the lash of the whip, and so is the knife by extension of my index finger, then the longer it is, it, it takes longer to come over and I want it to come over. I want this to come over quickly. So it is a little bit long. I'm, 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 I'm trying to see, would it work for longer distances? I'm exploring it. So my feedback on this one is that I think it'd be really good. I'm just uh, figuring out the length on it. 
but I do like the design. It throws all right for me. I just don't have the quick short, short snap. I kind of have to do a bigger and longer uh, pronounced whip. It's just an adjustment for me. But there may be unforeseen advantages uh, in that, maybe longer distances. So I'm exploring this one. Thank you again. This is from Hedgy Knives. Helios from, from Hedgy Knives. Thanks so much. Jeremiah Hedgecliffe gave that to me. It was such an honor. How about this from, from Joey Havelock? A BIM style, but made by BMO himself. BIM style dagger, teardrop. A lot of people like this. I wanted a, uh, something made by BMO. Um, he makes everything with a hand grinder. You got to have something of his his handcraft uh, if you, if you can. If, if I can afford it, so um, I was planning on getting uh, one of his, but now I have one. It's not my preferred thrower, but I like the simplicity of it. And you know what? It really. It really flies nice. It's got a nice weight to it. I haven't measured it. I haven't thrown anything like this. It's different than all my other throwers. So it intrigues me. And certainly because of the gift from my best, one of my best friends uh, online, Joey. You know, like, so it's special to me. I got a BIM dagger now. So at Broken Feather, I didn't have five knives of the same to throw and you need five knives so i wanted to throw something all the same louis prince was kind enough to let me use his clip point dashi so i have three of them and i picked up another one that uh was actually laser engraved with broken feather palooza 2022 on it from the awards table for my no spin uh results so now i have four clip point dashies this is very nice I really, I really do like it. It was a pleasant surprise. I like the point. Um, good for half spin, sure. But I do like it for no spin. And, it, and I like the balance. I suspect this is really close to the Danger Dashi. There's a little bit of a different feel. Uh, I tried Natalie Murray's uh, Danger Dashi at the tournament too. Very similar. So I have yet to explore that too. But I, I borrowed Louis' uh, Clip Point Dashi. And I liked them. So I thought I, I'd come home with a with three to determine if if uh they'll give me a run for my money with the nomad because the nomad is my my knife i'm still preferring the nomad but the problem is all my nomads are different and these feel the same serendipity is wonderful isn't it when i came home because i had four instead of three i naturally went to the no reload right the thought of just being able to pick up four knives and just doing whatever you want to do, Edward Scissorhands, right? Um, had a lot of fun with that. You'll have to check out that video. Um, I might as well go into that. People ask me how I hold them well. So I would hold this like all my other no spin, just flies nice. Nice point. For no spin, uh, no spin, no reload, uh, I would put the first one deeper in my hand so I have a good grip of it, right? And I would hold the other one, it's a little bit loose, but I would hold it flat against that. So this one's secure. This one's flat with a little bit of a, a spring to it. And then you, you, you would just discharge one knife with the finger, right? And then the other one comes up and I let the centrif centrifugal force pull the secure one up. And come in with the second. Had a lot of fun with that. You'll have to check out that video. No reload with two knives. Beyond two knives, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Because I can pick that up and I'm ready to throw. Right? Pick it up and throw. Um, I can do three knives. Right? But, you know, you got to sit there and fiddle with it. And it takes all this time to get this just right. And then on the second one, you got to pull it. But two knives, no problem. I can grab them, pick them up, and it's ready to deploy. Right? What else can I show you? I'm on to my EDC and 
my favorite knife. So now we're talking about my last gift from the tournament from the host Joe Dara really touched my soul. I'll spend a little bit of time talking about this one. First of all, just over a foot long. I think to that handle point, it's 12 inches, so 12 and a quarter inches or so. Um, I don't know if you can see the handle. It's got these grip points, even in, right to the metal. See that? Wonderful grip on that. I actually threw it in reverse grip last night. Or if you prefer, the grip on that's just phenomenal, right? I can throw it no spin like Joe prefers me to, but half spin is just unreal. Half spin is just phenomenal. I did it last night. My uh, walk away and turn and half spin is just, it's, it's spot on and, and, and deadly. Um, I think it sticks about that deep. Typically, you can just see maybe not very much of this. Just about to there. Uh, it feels wonderful. Great balance. I'll let you take a look at it there. You can see the broken feather engraving there. How about this one? Custom made from Mike Labinowicz. Just beautiful. My online friend uh, that I just become acquainted with, Gerald Salt, is making me a, a custom uh, sheath for this to match it. Black. Going to be crossbody. Crossbody like this. Really looking forward to it. This is, this will be with me at every tournament. Every time I throw, this will be on my person as a talisman. I'll likely wear this EDC too every day. Once I get the uh, sheath. Thanks, Gerald. Really looking forward to this. Joe, can I say man? Lastly, my EDC that I bought last year for my 50th birthday. Um, it's the Benchmark Bailout. And uh, it has the M4, M4 Tonto blade. Very nice. Um, <laughs> it's actually a very good thrower too. Both no spin and half spin. Even with a live edge, it's, it's a nice pinch. You can see... Uh, nowhere is my uh, finger touching, but I throw it half spin. I actually really like it backhand half spin, and I can I'm pretty good with it. So, quite easy to to pull out of my pocket. I uh, I didn't throw it until I was sure I could throw confidently, and I mean really confidently. And then I threw it to experiment and explore, and then I haven't thrown it again because. Uh, you can see there that it still lines up perfectly. I'm not willing to to wreck the mechanism and it's still in wonderful shape, but it, it throws. Um, I'd like to thank you for uh, your interest in what I throw. I'm not sure um, how many like that, but uh, this, this is my collection of knives and uh, throwers. There's also this thing here, um, the rabbit. It's actually really actually a thrower too because I can rabbit hood it if I'm on, right? Done that one before too. It's a nice, uh, nice fun exercise to chase the rabbit. So you, you toss this thrower that has a handle that can receive and receive a knife. Uh, and you try to do it Robin Hood. Anyways, thanks everybody. All the best.